We will invade their worlds. We will tear down everything that might protect them. And then, when it's too late, when they're powerless and alone, they will realize the truth. They could have been gods. Hey guys, what's up? Ooh, that's too close for my liking. Is autofocus? Yeah, autofocus is on. What's up, guys? It's your boy at the Clover here. <laughs> yeah, so, um, anyway, keep it off, okay? So, today I'm gonna be making another vlog. Um, due to the whole corona shiz that's going on, to that damn virus, um, my school closed down and I asked that I could take a leaf. A uh, very long period of leaf until shit gets situated. Um, and today I chose to make a small vlog because I really want to make another. Um, I want to make dioramas. Like seriously, I have the time to make dios. And uh, goddamn, my little brother. Ah, oh, god. Little man, get off. Get off. Here's my little bro. Woo! I really want to make dioramas and today I'm actually gonna make a uh, Power Rangers dio it's gonna be for two future figures I hopefully get the chance to buy if I don't die with corona <laughs> anywho it's the Lord Draken and the Ranger Slayer figures keep the one in again what I want to make not want to be making uh, I want to make the uh, throne room from the small uh, um, the, the, the trailer for Power Rangers Shattered Grid, but I put my own twist to it. So for now, this is what I have ready. This is the back, the base, and um, in my spare time, I wasn't gonna make a video initially. I made a throne for Dragon, but I'm using the Lightning Collection White Ranger from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers as a sense of scale and um yeah and my little brother's assisting me look at that little baby face <laughs> he came back with the phone <laughs> <Go! laughs> he's so adorable now what i want to make with the two pieces of foam here is sort of a like um same as the the small this my phone that just went off um, same as the um, trailer for the comic by Boom Studios I didn't read the comics but I was uh, I was watching on YouTube someone who was reading the comics himself and it's pretty it's a pretty different story when it comes to the Rangers and everything uh, so yeah here I have the Hasbro Lightning Collection, Mighty Morphing Power Rangers, White Ranger as a sense of scale. Don't worry, there's gonna be a lot more detail than this. I'm just giving you a general um, picture when it comes to this to, to, to this display. What I want to have is sort of like a brick pattern on the sides here when you're approaching the throne. And at the back, I want to have sort of a, like like um, rocks piled up to each other that form the wall. Alrighty, ladies and gents, <clears throat> this is what I wanted to do. It's resembling a wall in a field in Malta. I wanted to mimic that, sort of give it a bit of a Maltese, like, you know, this is not the floor, it's just the wall, but again, I really want to make a sense of scale with the lightning collection figure it's not going to be huge it's not going to be a huge diorama i want to want this dio to fit inside of my power rangers detolf collection well power rangers collection inside my detolf yeah i'll just carve these out using my little exacto knife and hopefully get to work on the on the base oh boy finally after <clears throat> 30 minutes of non-stop carving, which I did not bother to freaking shoot, I'm done with the back wall. And it was a pain in the ass to do. And now, the fun part, using a rock to give it detail. So what I mean by that, you just grab a rock and you just go like this on the, on the foam. So give the foam. I, let me see if I 
good detail. So you get the phone to have a uh, a feel. Who's that girl? We are not certain of her identity at this point. the lightning collection Tommy here if he if he's willing to stand up hey, hey. that's why I call myself a diorama <laughs> So yeah guys, currently I have every piece of the diorama, well not every piece because for sure I'm going to make a piece to cover up the holes in between the uh, columns. That was my phone going off by the way. Um, what I really want to do now is when everything dries up, I want to go back and into the, the, the cracks, let me just brighten up the, the video. I want to fill in the cracks with the black spray paint so the color of the foam doesn't show through. You know what I mean? So yeah, let's get on to the second coat and dry brushing. Alrighty guys, so um, the diorama is almost finished. All I need to do is give it some detailing. Uh, but what I want to do, I want to add an extra bit because as you can see, when it's all assembled, the pillars make that gap right there let me just bright it up a bit now that's starting to get it let me just bright it up that's um in there it just creates a big gap and i want to avoid that as part um i want to just avoid that in general so what i did was i grabbed this piece of foam here cut it out and um gave it some detailing using an actual rock you know you just grab a, a rock from any place and I just grab this the foam and just start hitting it with with the rock and because of that you're giving it detail like actual rock detail which is pretty cool okay guys so um, right now I'm doing the dry brushing the end ending parts of this diorama what I really need to do now is put some magnets on this dio so Whenever I piece it all together, it doesn't fall apart. But it's gonna be a one shelf until Comic Con, the Malta Comic Con. So right now, for dry brushing, all I'm doing is grabbing my brush. You know, this brush that I'm using to paint everything. And I have some paint here. Just you know, have a dab here. You can see the white on there. And keep on putting the paint in parts of the tissue. Try to get most of it off. So when you're doing the dry brushing, let me just show you here, you're getting the raised up parts so you have more detail. But unfortunately, I still have some black in this paintbrush. And um, because of that, it's turning out gray, which I think I prefer a little bit more, but I think I get the gist of what I'm trying to show you guys. So you just go like this. So you have a bit more detail. All right.
Alrighty guys, that is it for this video. Uh, for now, I don't have Lord Dragon or Ranger Slayer, but Ranger Slayer hasn't been released yet. Uh, I'm just gonna improvi improvise in using some of my other Hasbro Lightning Collection figures and just keep the White Ranger here for now until I get either the Green Ranger to have a White Ranger versus Green Ranger battle or wait until I get a Lord Dragon figure. Till next time guys, see you later.